Oh, I had a great day. I went first to Bill Kent University and met with students there and did a presentation and they asked really terrific questions. And after that, I came to Ankara University in the afternoon and repeated the same thing, but with a larger crowd and had a great reception and very good questions from the students here. I think the most important thing is that journalism matters and that we have to take care of ourselves to do it well, um, but that it really does matter to democracy and fact-checking all these issues that are coming up, we're the ones who have to solve it. It's, it's hard work and sometimes we want to blame other people or just, but we have to solve it. We have to convince the public. It's our job to do this as well. It's, I think journalism's a vocation. It's not just a hobby or that you are technically proficient. You have to have a real commitment to people. You can't be a journalist without being curious and really caring about people and caring about the world and making the world a better place. So some of the people who are the most proficient photographers don't necessarily have those other qualities. So they, I don't think they do make good journalists. I think it's the whole person <laughs> that makes the journalist and not the camera, the equipment and all that stuff. It's the person. Um, and so if you have that passion and desire to make a difference and to tell other people's stories, then I encourage you to try because <laughs> you can learn. <laughs> To, for, to, find out, to find out who you are and what you care about first, right? If you don't know yourself and don't know what you're passionate about, what you really care about, then it's hard to have enthusiasm for this job. It's not that every assignment you get is going to be about those themes, but once you discover that, you can bring that part of yourself to whatever assignment you get. <clears throat> I mean that sincerely because, you know, I've done jobs where Ah, ho-hum, I would never have chosen, chosen this subject. But then in the course of doing it, I meet a person and they have this incredible story and it does touch something that I care about and I can kind of bring that out as subtext to the other project. So there's always ways. Who's check the lens?